Alright, <laughs> yeah. We're in the beautiful little village of uh, Rydal, guess where, in the Lake District. Yeah, we've come for a wild camp, usual crack, cooking, bit of banter, hopefully a bit of swimming. It's raining, but it's beautiful. So yeah, come along, enjoy the journey. Well, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, partners. Anyway, we're um, again at Lake District. Love it. So we're here in Rydal, uh, just outside Ambleside, in between Ambleside and Grasmere. Uh, I'm going to do a about one and a half mile walk up to a place called Bookshaw, Bookstone Jump. Not jump. It's jump. Um, beautiful little waterfall. Got a thing. I've got a camp in uh, in mine there. Uh, again, it's going to have to be set up late, uh, hopefully there's no walkers. So, um, yeah, we're just up at uh, Rydal Hall, uh, beautiful old building. Um, I've just just been past uh, William, is it William Wordsworth? Is it to be or not to be? Oh, that's William Shakespeare, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you know. Anyway, enough of that shite. Right, I'm going to get on. So... Have a look. That building down there is called the Grot. Uh, you can go and stand in it, so I'll go, go and find out. you get down and we'll have a look. Come on. Now then, this is, uh, we're just in the grounds of uh, Rydal Hall. Uh, that's, in, that's the building in the background. Uh, these are the gardens. Yeah, sound like an historian. How, do you, how did you get down to this, uh, the grot? Let's go and have a look. Pretty impressive this, isn't it?
mud room. Called the grot. Yeah, mum. Take some photos. Get out, crack on as usual. I'm just going to get my head down now, and uh, so I'm not doing much filming. Um, I'll see what I see on the way and uh, see what crack is because it's just started to rain a bit. So I just want to get going. Uh, plenty of footage to come, so you're not missing. Well, you are missing a lot because it's absolutely stunning around here. Uh, try to show you all the waterfalls, but there's just that many. You can't film them all. I'll never get to where I want to get to. So I'm off up that path, and I shall speak to you shortly yeah I won't be filming <laughs> well I uh, yeah set off up the path uh, I think I took a different route it took me along the gorge and it was absolutely horrendous slippy I was it worked for me that uh, I could have made it, but it was slippy, wet, riding bad, really bad. Big gorge at side of me down at the waterfalls. Beautiful light, but what I was worried about was coming back down it. Um, probably got up it. So, kind of went back onto another path, and I wasn't sure if that took you right round, but I think it does. But by then, I'd looped round and round. I got stuck in some bloody kid's maze. <laughs> Fuck you know. So, I come back down, and I've booked onto Rydal Campsite. Um, still beautiful light. Uh, got the waterfalls just down there. Big old trees. I've got a bench, so it's gonna have to do. Um, I won't fucking about. It's like air foil. So I booked on one of them again. Uh, we do take cash, but only right change. It was twenty quid, eighteen quid. I only had twenty on me. 
So I'll give him, I said, we'll just have to take that. That leaves me with three quid. <laughs> no, no bank card. So I've got two quid to get back to the train station and a train home and a quid to get back from the train station. So I'll, I'll be calling on my mate Gary in town to grab a quid off him. It's all good fun. I love these adventures. But yeah, I, I, I'm sure the other path, which was a lot easier, it's quite steep, but I'm sure that takes you to the same place. But I ended up on the um, canyon path and it, it worked for me that. Not in this weather. It was muddy, there were dead leaves, it was slippy rocks, uh, and it was just a sheer drop outside of me. Nah, sorry. And again, probably I would have probably made it, but then it was coming back down it. So I will find out. I've got to go to that place. Buckstone, Buckstone's jump. Um, however, it'll have to be another day, and I will find out if this path here that takes this this path here. I'm sure it takes you around. Um, so I'll have to I'll have to do some more research. But what I've just noticed is that hill up there in the dist in the where we're looking here. That one there. That's um, where we're looking. Yeah, that one there in the background, that's uh, Wandsfell Pike, where I went the other week. So yeah. Anyway, I've enough babbling. Found a little picture next to this bench. So I'm gonna get set up. So I'll speak to you in a bit. Yeah, I've ups and just to, just to let you know, I've got some absolute wicked tea I'm gonna make. So this is uh, where the pitch is gonna be. So just let's uh, just down there. So I'll bring it back when it's set up. Ready? Ta -da. Show you around. So not a bad pitch again. Big buggers them, aren't they? Put this on it. And then, uh, wait till you see what I've got to make to eat. It's going to be absolutely be epic. And I've got this bench as well, so whether I use this or not, because it's quite windy. Uh, but either way, I've got a wicked tea to make. And I'm definitely getting a bit hungry, so let me uh, just get my shit together. Let's uh, unpack inside, get my mat up, and then. Um, Gonna make a fucking wicked tea. Sorry for swearing. Get carried away. It's a family show. You know what I mean. I can't be swearing. I respect. Bullshit. All right, folks. I'm in the in the tent. Uh, I'm just gonna get my air mark set up. I've told you this before, Anna. Uh, can't wait to show you this tea class man so yeah uh all my stuff ah, can't get used to this camera yet it's showing you <laughs> i'm blabbing again i'm a blabber that's nah, speaking a bit right i've decided i want to change hands beauty of this these tents you can uh i've got two different doors i can open if, if the wind's coming this way i can open that one which I'll show you because I am going to change that right later because the wind is coming from that way but we're all right for now but I want to light this end so I'm going to shift all my stuff up here so yeah we're all set up nice and cosy uh, give us a couple of minutes which will be a couple of seconds for you does that make sense? Mm, don't know I'm babbling again I like babbling babbling brook anyway Right, so I'm going to swap this round, get out this jacket, uh, I might put my down pants on because these are a bit dirty. Uh, and then I'm going to get this food underwear because I'm, I'm getting pretty hungry actually. I know I, I'm doing the fasting and that but 
still uh, still get hungry. That's going really well actually. So, but I'm going to break it tonight because it'll be a bit later. But the food is not what I've ate for a long time. But it's going to be it's going to be good, and I, I'm looking forward to it. So let's get on with that. All right, peeps. Right, let's show you what we have got to eat. So this bag of goodies. Then you push you down there just so you can see what's going on. Right. So, be ready. Got some salami, pepperoni, rosemary, a chili. This is going to be the key to it. Mozzarella. We've got some Calabrian chilli pepper tomato paste and some plain baked pizza bases. So I'm going to make frying pan pizza. So yeah, so we've got the uh, nice chilli paste it was a bit heavy carrying that but yeah so that'll be the paste I've got some threads um, and they're gonna go as I say I met them up I've got some um, I've got my little frying pan here so they'll just fit nicely I'll cut them if they don't they will fit and um, see how that goes so yeah that's what we're having for tea so let's crack on as always so I'm just going to get me, uh, I've got me pot, different pot this time, me, uh, I've got my billy can, so got some tea bags and some soup there if I need one, here's my cup, get me out, put that back in there, get this set up, yeah so that was a nightmare today, frigging going up that bloody waterfall and then having to come back again. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, haven't you? I'm, at least I'm out, still out inside, and I needed to get out as well because it was doing my pain. I'm sick of this weather. It's absolutely atrocious, but we'll not go there. So, yeah, so it was a bit of a nightmare going up that bloody waterfall and having to come all the way back. Uh, I'm damn sure that the normal path, which is quite steep, but I'm damn sure that takes you around as well. It actually runs along back here, so I'm going to have to find out, because I definitely need to go to that bloody, that place. It's awesome. And I don't want to go in summer, because it'll be like freaking Butlins. Uh, it does seem a popular popular spot for swimming and uh, jumping in and stuff like that. So yeah, it would have been ideal, but it's not to be. So I'm here and I'm going to make a pizza. So let's, as always, crack on. I'm just going to put this towel down. I'll bring it back. So that's that. All right. Uh, a bit better pepperoni chili cheese everything organized knife spatula spoon coconut oil fire kit pizza doors oh and I've got a I forgot to mention it I've got a, a shallot as well because that's your shallot so you're saying it's just a lot. Shut up, Craig. <laughs> Gotta get a little sponge. Hello, hello. My name's Mr. Sponge. Kiss a kiss. Shut up, Craig. 
All right. So first things first. Let's get see if these bloody pizza doors fit in. Too big. Will be right. Should we cut him? How's that? Ow, ow. <laughs> Put that there. Right. That'll do. So, let's get this dressed up. Can you see it there? That's it. Spot on. Nice double put out. Sorry, bloody cat pouncing way. I'm not saying much, am I? But he just, um, I should be talking about what I'm doing here anyway. Onion on, red onion, uh, shallot. Pepperami, German salami. There you go, taste a bit. Lovely. Chilli. Chill it. Now for this bloody thing, this is going to go everywhere, isn't it? I'm going to put that in the cup. 
because that soap, that this juice will go all over. So, nice mozzarella cheese all over it. And then I'll tell you what I have forgot, bloody black pepper. Look, I've got, I love me black pepper. I'm gonna buy some, but it was uh, £3.15 for a freaking jar for a wee, wee grinder on. What's that about? It's happening to this country, man. So, there you go. Let's have a look, bit of rosemary on it. We'll see what he looks like. I don't, know what, I don't know if it'll work or not, but it's worth a go, isn't it? People, something different. Well, there you go. Now to see if it works. So, that's that. Move that out of the way. Light her out. I don't know how much you can see what I'm doing here because uh, I'm restricted with camera space. So let's have a look. Don't look too bad, does it? I don't know if it's cooking through. <laughs> smells all right, but I think it's burning. I don't talk much when I'm cooking, do I? Should be telling you what I'm doing, really. Yeah, it's looking all right. Let's, um, let's have a look under there. Yeah. Starting to melt. I feel not quite. What do you reckon? Not oh, too bad, does it? I don't want it to burn on bottom, you see. Oh, it'll be all right, that. That's not it. Turn this off. Bit longer. That'll do. All right, let's try and get it out. This is going to be a fun bit. Oh, not bad. Sure. Put that there. Let's have a look. How's that look? Get it all. Mm. 
It's all right, Dom. Mmm. <laughs> so frying pan pizza. Worth a try. Mm. Yep. Decent. I don't I don't think I'll make another one. Should be enough. I'll just probably munch all the rest of stuff. But yeah. Got a crisp on it. Yeah, it worked. Right, well, I'm gonna eat the rest of this, and then uh, I'll bring you back and we'll have a chat. I'll show you out campsite, show me stuff, and um, make a hot chocolate thing. So I'll speak to you in a bit. Cheers, people. No, no poops. It's gonna be cowed. Just uh, got me. Uh, Thermal top on and my uh, down jacket. Uh, just gonna make a quick hot chocolate, and then I'll uh, we'll go outside. I'll show you around, and then um, yeah, I'm gonna get back inside here because it's it's damn chilly. It's nice though. I believe back home it's uh, blowing a gale and storm, so it's. Uh, but that's the reason. One of the reasons I came, I knew there was a break in the in the weather here, so it's worked out just fine. It's uh, sun's out. It's not. It's cold, but at least it's not fucking blowing a gale and uh, raining and that. So that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have this hot chocolate, um, and then I'll show you around, and then I'm gonna get the uh, rest of me uh, down gear on and uh, get snuggled in because it's uh, if anything, it is bloody cold. That wind's icy. Um, yeah, so it's landed all right, really. As I say, it would have been nice up at that other pitch, but this morning, trying to get through them rocks and that. Again, I'm not going to go over it again with you. Again, again. Um, but it is what it is, isn't it? You met, you met the best. And uh, I've ended up on a beautiful site. Cost me a little bit too much money, like 18 quid for a bloody campsite. It's a bit steep. But... I'm here, I'm safe, I've had something to eat, I'm just going to have a hot chocolate and then um, show you around, as I said, and then we'll get in the tent, get snugged in, uh, probably watch a movie or something, um, and then I'll uh, probably wish you good night, and then we'll see you in the morning, um, I won't be making any breakfast or anything, as I said, I don't, I don't eat till after, uh, after 12. Jesus. So yeah, I'll um, I probably uh, just pack up and uh, get on. But we'll see. I'd like to go for a swim somewhere. My teeth look white. Yeah. This weather's terrible, isn't it? I'll not get. I'll not get into it. But I'll tell you now, it's not right. It's awful. Must be depressing some people. I could feel myself getting uh, cabin fever leading up to this camp. Um, I've been getting out on walks and stuff, but it's just awful. Every time you look out, it's wet, the ground's damp, wet, horrible. But no misery on this channel, it's keeping up, grip up, babe. We're out, no matter what. So, yeah, I was counting up before. I've done um, nine camps this year already in April, up to April, so... I've got uh, another one coming up in a, a week and a half. I'm going out with um, a friend of mine wants to um, wants to get out camping, so she's coming along. She's got her own tent and everything. Um, Rachel, so she's coming on in a couple of weeks. We're just going to go to Bears Brown um, and have a chill there. Uh, I've got some. I'm going to do some uh, Mexican chicken and some wraps with that. So that's going to be good. Um, and then hopefully I'm going for a walk next week with Holly to Lakes. But I've just found out she's bloody, she's not been so well. Um, I think it's been, she's had a UTI. 
but it's came back twice um, and it's come back again today and it looks like they're keeping her in so I was a bit panicky there I was going to come home today to, uh, to but she said she'll be alright so I'll be back in the morning anyway I'll be back for one o'clock so I'll go, I'll go and see her I hope she's uh, she's alright bless her that's my daughter anyway if you, if you don't know um, 24 she's a lovely girl needs a good clap you now back at head sometimes but she, uh, she don't take after me any anyway. So hopefully she's all right. Yeah, they put her in some surgery, something. So I don't know, but they did say it could be uh, goldstones. So that's probably what it is. So she's in hospital, but um, at least I've been telling her to go for for weeks. She's had this for weeks on and off. She's had two lots of antibiotics, and I've been saying, get yourself signed in proper. She's a bloody nurse as well. Um, she knows the crack. So, fingers crossed, she's all right. So, I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll update you on that one. But apart from that, um, everything's hunky-dory. So, i speak to you in a bit. Bye. Ah, it's a good little jet boy, this. Titanium as well. Um, the only thing I don't like it the, the stands are a little bit small, especially for that frying pan. You see them last time, it fell off, didn't you? Ooh, it's getting warm in here. Yeah, always be careful when you're cooking inside a tent. I mean, these vegetables are designed for it. Obviously, there's vents at top, but. Um, should always be careful. So yeah, now we got a boil on. Ah, lovely. Get hot red hot there. There you go. It's nice, it's a lovely evening. Jesus, it's cold. So a little frig fell over there. One's fell pike. Ooh, yeah, this path here it goes back up, and I'm sure that's the one I should have been on, not the fucking mountain goat path. And there was a tree down as well, so I'd have had to clamber over that, and I just. It, it was coming back down. So I know next time this is the path. So I'm definitely coming back here because I need to do that that book, bookstore jump. It's absolutely gorgeous. Top swimming place as well. So yeah, everything's uh, sorted. I just uh, turn you around. Just down there is the uh, waterfalls and stuff. Uh, just over there is the Rydal Hall. Tent's looking nice and snug. There's another tent over there. Just seen one over here as well. It looks so clever. One there, a couple of uh, pods and things there. They look smart. Brrr. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna film that up there. Nice little sunset for you. Um, and I'm gonna get back in tent because it's fucking freezing. So I'll catch you in a bit.
sweeps. It's going to get packed up. Uh, decided there's a walk here that takes you down towards Ambleside rather than just catch the bus here. Considering I never did the full walk yesterday, so I'm going to take that walk back. Um, so yeah, come along and uh, enjoy it because there's a couple of waterfalls and things. So we'll film that. Um, I'll just add to the uh, to the show and the vlog. So I'm going to get packed up, get everything sorted, um, and then I'll speak to you in a bit. All right. All packed up. It's on a campsite, but even so, leave no trace. So we're going to head down there, try and get some water, chuck this uh, rubbish in the bin, and we're off. So, come on, let's go. As always, brilliant camp. So I'll speak to you when we get ready for the bus. See you later. peoples well, I'm gonna um, hope you enjoyed that I'm gonna end the video there uh, as always thanks for watching I hope you've made it to the end um, if you haven't already give us a um, give us a like a subscribe and a ding a ling ding ding yeah man um, I hope you enjoyed that um, some nice uh, footage of the skies and that and some nice walks not quite the camp I wanted but it was fantastic so yeah I'm just waiting for the bus now um, just outside Ambleside. Um, train's back due at not till quarter past one, so plenty of time. It's only sunny 10 o'clock. So, I'm gonna, like I say, I'm going to end the video there. Uh, as always, people, thanks for watching. Uh, absolutely, your support means the world to me, and I'm overwhelmed with uh, the, the responses I'm getting back. Um, it means a lot. So, yeah, just uh, last thing to say is always just smile and life will smile back. So take it easy, people. Thank you.